Hey guys, in this video we're looking at uh, addition and subtraction to polynomials. Um, pretty friendly little topic, should be a short section. We've seen this a bunch already in earlier sections, but they're just kind of formalizing it here. So simplify the following expressions. Um, what we're doing is basically just collecting like terms. So right here I got a 7x squared. Um, the plus 2x minus 5x go together just like we saw in chapter 1. So that's going to make a minus 3x. And then 3 and 10 like terms, so plus 13. Uh, this next one, so this has these parentheses going and they're, they're doing absolutely nothing. Um, this is a situation where maybe like you're substituting in, maybe you substitute, you're putting parentheses around it, or maybe there's two polynomials to start. Um, and so they're just kind of separating them, but it's really artificial. You can just pretend like those aren't there. So then we just have 6x squared plus 7x squared, so that's going to be 13x squared, uh, minus 3x plus 2x, so minus x, and a plus 4 minus 10, so that's going to be a negative 6. Um, this one, similar to that, the only difference is now we got some a few more terms going on. We get cubes, um, x cubed, and wanted to do one where the coefficients are 1, so 1 plus 1, that kind of messes people up, but it's uh, 2x squared. Sometimes people get x to the fourth there or something, they multiply. Um, so just think of those invisible ones. Uh, I got this negative 5x right here, so that would go next. And then lastly, the minus 4 and the, I'm sorry, the plus 4 minus 7. That's going to be minus 3. And so this is what's called descending order. So descending order is just where we look at the powers. And so we go cube squared to the first. And then the constant term, the constant term, you don't write it this way, but it's x to the 0, so it's just counting down the powers is descending order. Um, example 4, now this one has these parentheses, but this time because of that minus, that kind of changes things. Um, when it's a plus, it's like a plus 1, and if I go 1 times all this stuff, I just get the stuff, so that doesn't matter. But here, this is like a minus 1, so now I have to distribute that sign across the um, second set of parentheses. So, um, this is going to look like 11x to the 4th, <clears throat> 7x cubed plus 2. I'm just going to rewrite this, but in, in, it was plus plus minus, so now it be minus and then minus and plus. So it's just going to reverse the signs if you multiply by negative. Um, collecting terms, I got 11x to the 4th, minus 7x cubed, minus another 7x cubed, so minus 14 x cubes. Uh, I got a 2x down there, or 2x squared. So we got that one, and then plus 2 and plus 5. So it'll be a plus 7. Um, this one, so subtract 9x plus 3 from the sum of 8x minus 2 and negative 11x minus 1. So we're going to add these two. That's the sum. So we're going to find the sum of this, and then we're going to subtract this bit from it. So this I'm going to do as um, 8x minus 2. It's a sum, so I'm not going to use the extra parentheses because um, I guess I am because this is a, has a negative, so let me write it right. And then subtract this from that sum. So minus that will need parentheses 9x plus 3. <coughs> So then I can put these ones together. So 8x minus 11x. So that's just going to be, <coughs> excuse me, minus 3x. And then minus 2 minus 1. So that's another minus 3. So that's there. And then we're going minus this stuff. And I'll go ahead and distribute that sign. So minus 9x and then minus 3. And then you kind of see these parentheses really aren't doing much. So if I want, I can rewrite it. Oops. Or just do it in parentheses. Um, so negative 3x and then minus 9x. So that's going to equal uh, negative 12x. And then down 3, down another 3. And minus 6. Okay, and these next four are the ones that would, are the match problems I'd have you try in class. Um, so let's see, just like terms, so down 3x squared and then up 9x squared, so that put us at 6x squared. Minus 5x plus 2x, so that'll be a minus 3x. And a plus 4 and a minus 9, so 4 minus 9 for 
negative 5. Uh, this one, so we got that minus again, so I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it, just showing the sign changes. Uh, so 3x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2, and then minus this stuff, so it's going to go plus, minus, plus now. So plus 7x cubed minus x squared minus and minus makes plus 5x. Oops, make that a little more like a 2. Um, and then I'll just collect my terms. Something I've been doing that I didn't actually note that I was doing, um, but let me say it out loud. So sometimes for me it helps if just visually if I kind of underline to help me see sort of what the terms are. So here I got 3x cubed plus 7x cubed, so that's going to be 10x cubed. Next up would be my squares, and I got minus 5x squared minus another x squared, so that's going to be minus 6x squared. Uh, 5x would be up next and then plus two. Uh, let's see, this one subtracts six x squared minus nine x minus two from here. So we'll go, if I said, um, and sometimes just the kind of the English reads backwards. If it read subtract five from seven, you'd go seven minus five, right? So sometimes putting the just kind of fake numbers in there just to let your brain see what it would do. Um, can help when you read this with this stuff intact so subtract all this from all that and you say it all out loud by then you forgot what you're doing uh, so this is going to go negative 5x squared plus x minus 14 so and we're subtracting this from it and so that would be a place where maybe you show the parentheses to say hey we have these two separate things we're subtracting and it's important on the second one so you get the sign change right Now I'll rewrite it with the signs showing the right direction. So this is going to be minus 6x squared and then plus 9x and plus 2. So again, just opposite signs. So let's see, there we got negative uh, 11x squared plus x plus 9x, that's going to be plus 10x, and minus 14 and plus 2, so down 14 up 2 will put us at minus 12. And let's see, this last one, um, this is subtract uh, this from the sum of those two. So again, we'll kind of do our sum over here. And then I'm going to subtract that. So minus and then the all-important parentheses right there. <clears throat> so here, if I collect this, again, once I get it collected, those brackets really aren't doing anything. It's just sort of the emphasize that it's doing the sum of those. Um, so this is going to go 7x plus 5x is 12x, minus 6 minus 3 will be a minus 9. And then here I'll just change my signs, so minus and minus for a plus x, and then a minus 3. So it looks like we should land on 12 and 1 for 13x, minus 9 minus 3 for minus 12. Uh, cool, so that wraps up uh, addition and subtraction to polynomials.